thank you for coming back again then the lesson is still proceeding then now we said uh, we want to prove that the statement is true for n equal to 1 and we know that when n is equal to 1 then sine x over 2 the sum of k is equal to 1 cos kx then here we're going to add t plus 1 because n is equal to t plus 1 there is equal to a sine of t plus 1 times x divided by 2 so it means that when we add this t plus 1 where there is n we add t plus 1 then terms cause a uh, times cause t plus 1 there then this is going to be cos t plus 1 plus 1 which is 2x over 2 then this is our goal wherever we are proving we are going to prove whether this side is equal to this one we want to arrive here this is our goal then if we proceed further we found that on our inductive step, we choose what we call the left-hand side. The left-hand side is sine x over 2. The summation of k is equal to 1 cos kx. But remember that this is a second term. is t plus 1. But we know that firstly there we have t then we are going to add this with t sigma k is equal to 1 t plus 1 cos k x so when looking at this carefully we can see that this one is from the inductive what hypothesis then it means that now we are going to do we are going to substitute what or replace this by a, a inductive hypothesis there. So our inductive hypothesis is sine t x over 2 the cos of uh, t plus 1 over 2 by x. Then we are going to add this with sine x over 2 since t since this one since and uh, here we're having sigma t k is equal to one then it's k uh, uh, cos k x then this one is going to be cos into when 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 n is equal to t plus one then our k is equal to one then it still means that we will substitute t plus one x as well then here you want to prove using this Thank you for watching and then we are going to proceed in the next video. Thank you.